campaign. Can you hear me please, guys? Right, so as Lucia said, um, how are the teachers going to teach this? Who's going to teach her? Where's it come from? And that's what I'm going to tell you now, okay? So back in 2009, the World Health Organization and the United Nations decided to do a global rollout of sexuality education. Before we go further, I just want to point out that the United Nations is where our children's rights have come from, okay? The law here in Wales. The United Nations have also given our children sexual rights, okay? They've got sexual rights from birth. You need to read this. Because those sexual rights give the state permission to administer medication to your children without permission, which can be hormone blockers. And we've had receptionists, the surgeon, the receptionist saying, they can't have that permission. They do the mom have to build a knife, so we'd already go in there, right? So, they, 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 they brought this document in, right? And this is a framework for policy makers and educators, right? In here, it's telling you the sex education should start from birth. It's telling children to sexually stimulate. It's teaching them how to consent. It's also telling them to differentiate between good and bad secrets. There's a lot of people here that's been abused. Did you know you was involved in a bad secret, okay? These documents are masks and abuse. These documents are a barrier to disclosure, okay? They trap in kids in the system. So let's talk a bit more about this document, right? It's the World Health Organization. When you look in the back, I'm a criminologist, right? So what I do is I pick up a document and go to the back. The research is nonsense. Half of it's not in English. This, they reference back to themselves. There is no critical research in there. It is not scientifically based. But obviously a teacher's going to read this. It's got to be right. It's got to be right, you know. It's reference. It's reference. It's reference with bollocks, right? So from there now we've had things go around the world. So I give you California in 2014. There was a book on the shelf for the kindergarten on bondage, right? Took them an entire year to remove that book from the shelf. So that book went in 2015. The legislation came in 2019. So, as we go on, now they've done a new one, guys, right? 2018, this one is now. This one starts from age five. And in here, it's telling the kids to exercise their rights. Over parental rights, as well as their sexual rights, and bodily rights, okay? Kids, kids have been cut. The first thing that, that, that happened with this, this document was, children are not encouraged to feel comfortable in their own skin. By the time they're six, they want them to consolidate their gender. It's very confusing. So again, I looked at the research for this, okay? This is done on 87 studies. 29 of those studies were in third world countries, 40 were in America, okay? That does not suit our country. We cannot apply a criminal justice policy from Swansea to London because of the difference in the gang culture, right? This is not going to work. This is not scientific evidence, I'm telling you now, okay? So what happened was, now, we come across on the sexual stimulation in 242 schools in England. So I went looking for that. Obviously, parents kicked off, right? So they, they looked at the package themselves. That's where they had the screenshot from, okay? Where that's come from, the United Nations. It is global. They removed that overnight, okay? So that's how quick they can remove certain parts, right? You cannot fall for these policies, right? The legislation has to go because policies are changing. So we get to England now. England, their law is coming this month. Ours is coming next year. So in England, what they're saying is, and it's important, guys, I think it's important. In England, they're saying you can withdraw your child from the sexual element, right? For now. They're also saying that you can discuss the materials here. So let me just give you a little example of what they're using, right? These are like cartoons now. Cartoons on anal sex. You need to watch these videos, right? They're getting hard work. They're very appealing to children. Look at that. Facial ejaculation. That's in Scotland, okay? Banana, Nutella, anal sex. Are you the 40% girls? Are you the 40%? Because these pictures are like pamphlets and TV. We're selling kids. There's all different types of porn. Better than just straight, straight white people. Look at that. We've got somebody ready to go for a granny. Fantastic, isn't it? So as I was saying now, you've got to be careful with these policies. What they're saying is, right, you have the right to opt out, you have not. How does this affect us in Wales? Well, we've got this document here, guys, right? The RSE. If you speak to the government, they will tell you that this is about same-sex relationships, meaningful relationships. It's not. 
is not right. Because on page four of this document, it tells you to refer to UNESCO. Now at the moment, right, we are saying primary schools don't have to teach if they don't want to. We've legislated against us. We've legislated against us. So if some private head teacher or some liberal head teacher who thinks he's a saviour wants to do so, right? Who's there to protect these kids? You say you don't want it, what happens then? Social services come involved because you have preached your child's sexual rights, okay? So it's really important, this is disgusting. It's really important you do not fall for this um, same-sex nonsense, right? Because it is nonsense. These, these, right, are models of offending. They are models of offending. The barriers, the disclosure. I agree with these documents, they are grooming. They are grooming the educators, okay? The educators groom you. The government knows fighting in this law. And they are they're passing it back to teachers in the schools, right? So if you were on the school's case, now what the school do? Social services. It's out the government's hands, guys, right? It's out the government's hands. We are passing it back onto the teacher, but there's the legislation there. We need this gone. We need this gone before it comes in next month. If you look at this draft as well in the back, there's some lovely studies done on local schools, okay? I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you any of this. So it's a load of box, basically, isn't it? It's a load of box, because this does look lovely when you read it. But it's a load of crap, guys. And that's a fact. Now I've got all these documents here for you. Okay, we've even got documents from the Welsh Government. What do they say? First of all, I'm the Education Minister, what do you mean to confront us, right? She lied on. But there's Lynn Needle, who is the chair of the Children and Young People's Education Committee. What's she saying? She denied it. Denied all knowledge. Blocked her constituents. Then we found a letter online between her and Percy Williams. Why is no opt-out? Why is there no opt-out provision in this one? Seven page document. She couldn't even answer the question. So guys, either they are either complicit in child sexual exploitation or they haven't got a clue. Either way, they've got to go. They have got to go next election if not before. And our plan is right. We're taking this to courts, right? This is going to courts, right? I'm not gonna lie to you now. If we fail the courts, right, we are chucking them out the sign out. Because that is all going there. We do not want this. We have called us twice and we've told them in overwhelming numbers we do not want it and we go in behind our backs. This isn't a parental issue, this is a child protection issue. Okay? I was a bills, but my, they got away with me, they lived in a beautiful house, okay? There's kids out there in my position, there's kids in care, there's kids that we need more services, more services, we do not close doors on these kids, right? Bottom line is, if they can go to this court, we will physically throw them out, and that is the way it has to be, guys, right? You all need to pass this information on, this is all true, I didn't reckon of this. I did not write this. I've been following it for seven years and I am more than qualified to call this. Right? Yeah. 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 I refuse anybody on this planet to debate this, right? I am gonna work. I can plan this. I know it so well, guys. I know it so well. And I challenge any single person on this planet to confront me, to debate this to me. This is true. And it has to go, guys. It has to go. Every single one of them need to get rid of this, right? Follow us on Facebook for information there, and then we can proceed. It's all I'm gonna say.